Today we will learn about gearbox and its components. An automobile requires high torque when climbing hills and when starting, even though they are performed at low speeds. On other hand, when running at high speeds on level roads, high torque is not required because of momentum. So requirement of a devices occur, which can change the vehicle's torque and its speed according to road condition or when the driver need. This device is known as transmission box or gearbox. The transmission box which is also known as the gearbox is the second element of the powertrain in an automobile. It is used to change the speed and torque of vehicle according to variety of road and load conditions. Transmission box change the engine speed into torque when climbing hills and when the vehicle required. Sometimes it is known as torque converter. Main functions of a gearbox is as follow. It provides the torque needed to move the vehicle under a variety of road and load conditions. It does this by changing the gear ratio between the engine crankshaft and vehicle drive wheels. Gearbox allows shifting into reverse so the vehicle can move backward. Also it allows shifting into neutral for starting the engine. In any device two or more component works together and fulfills the required function. In a transmission box four components are required to fulfill its function. These components are counter shaft, main shaft, gears and bearings. Let's check out each one by one. Counter shaft is a shaft which connects with the clutch shaft directly. It contains the gear which connects it to the clutch shaft as well as the main shaft. It may be run at the engine speed or at lower than engine speed according to gear ratio. Next is the main shaft, it is the shaft which runs at the vehicle speed. It carries power from the counter shaft by use of gears and according to the gear ratio, it runs at different speed and torque compares to counter shaft. One end of this shaft is connects with the universal shaft. Gears are used to transmit the power from one shaft to another. They are most useful component of gearbox because the variation is torque of counter shaft and main shaft is depends on the gear ratio. The gear ratio is the ratio of the driven gear teeth to the driving gear teeth. If gear ratio is large than one, the main shaft revolves at lower speed than the counter shaft and the torque of the main shaft is higher than the counter shaft. On other hand if the gear ratio is less than one, then the main shaft revolves at higher speed than the counter shaft and the torque of the main shaft is lower than the counter shaft. A small car gearbox contains four speed gear ratio and one reverse gear. Whenever the rotary motion encounters, bearings are required to support the revolving part and reduce the friction. In the gearbox both counter and main shaft are supported by the bearing. Let's check out the working principle of gearbox. In a gearbox, the counter shaft is mashed to the clutch with a use of a couple of gears. So the counter shaft is always in running condition. When the counter shaft is bring in contact with the main shaft by use of meshing gears, the main shaft start to rotate according to the gear ratio. When driver want to change the gear ratio, simply press the clutch pedal which disconnect the counter shaft with engine and connect the main shaft with counter shaft by another gear ratio by use of gear shift lever. In an gear box, the gear teeth and other moving metal must not touch. They must be continuously separated by a thin film of lubricant. This prevents excessive wear and early failure. Therefore a gearbox runs partially filled with lubricant oil. This is all about what is gearbox and parts of gearbox. If you have any query regarding this video ask by commenting. If you like this video, don't forget to share it on social networks. Subscribe our channel for more informative videos. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.